You know, oftentimes providers, I walk into a training room and they think that what I'm about to tell them is irrelevant and completely peripheral to the real work. All they want to know about is what's the newest drug on the market or what's the newest uh, surgical procedure. And I tell them what I'm about to talk to them about, that cultural competence is as important to the outcomes of their patients, is as important to the mortality and the morbidity rates as anything that they're going to do in terms of pharmacology or surgical procedures. In order for a patient to be healed, several things have to happen. They have to come to the medical facility. They have to give a complete and accurate medical history. The provider has to order the correct diagnostic tests, and then the provider has to make the correct diagnosis and develop the best de uh, treatment plan for the patient. And the treatment plan has to be one that the patient understands and is motivated to follow. All of those steps require a good relationship between the provider and the patient. It requires trust, and that is completely dependent on the cultural competence of the provider.